This is the Transformers Generations Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Nemesis Leo Prime. I'm unaware that Leo Prime had a Nemesis version, but uh, I, you know, I probably missed that episode in that old uh, Japanese Beast Wars continuity a cartoon. It's Evo Fusion, basically just a redeco of the Legacy leo prime done in nemesis prime colors he's looking very monochrome but uh still interesting i picked up this figure from robo robo let's get this figure out of packaging and here is nemesis leo prime out of the box and the figure is actually not that bad uh the color scheme looks pretty okay uh it's still a solid figure just done in the nemesis colors I do have some issues uh, with the way they designed the black render of uh, of this figure, but uh, overall, uh, I think I think it's a very decent attempt at doing a sort of negative, evil version of Leo Prime. Let's take a closer look at the details of this nemesis Leo Prime. So the figure essentially is a straight up direct redeco of the Legacy Leo Prime. They didn't, they didn't change anything. It's the same head sculpt, uh, body's the same, arms, legs, torso, the animal parts are exactly the same. They just decided to go dip this guy in some black paint and charcoal and boom, he's, uh, he's Nemesis Prime. And there's hardly any paint on this guy. You've got some teal metallic paint apps here and there in his eyes. So yeah, it's, it's all right. There's some gray paint right there and then Maximal logo. And then if you open up his chest, it will reveal the nipple of doom with some nice teal applications and some silver paint highlights there. Uh, but compared to the original Leo Prime, Leo Prime had just a tremendous amount of paint apps and colors and variations and all that. And this guy just seems to be, uh, I think they just ran out of paint. They just decided, okay, he's gonna be Nemesis Prime. Let's make him as dark as possible. And uh, they made him look like sort of like a sleep mode or death mode of Leo Prime instead of a Nemesis Prime. And I was kind of expecting this figure to have a lot of more high gloss black finish, some metallic paint here and there. But instead, it's just the same type of plastic they used here, just done in gray and black. And yeah, to be quite honest, this figure is just a little bit too boring. And I know Nemesis Prime is supposed to be this color, but it's looking more gray than black and and that's my my key issue with this figure i was really expecting it to be much like the masterpiece but you know arguably it's not a masterpiece figure but they could have at least put a lot more of this color the glossy black finish uh, because you see it all around it, it's it's a nice glossy plastic but there's just too much gray too little black to really make him uh, ominous and imposing and all that now uh, they did, instead of adding a, a um, new head sculpt, they did add new weapons. And these are two blaster pistols that they've decided to incorporate in this figure, which is all right, I suppose. It's like you're getting a little extra other than just a redeco. Mold degradation, there doesn't seem to be any. Uh, there's some looseness here and there, but not not too much to that that we should be concerned about this figure. Now, the box or the instructions say that the Evo Fusion gimmick is really just this. You pop out the claws and boom, that's Evo Fusion. Or you pop out these claws and boom, it's an Evo Fusion. But I think the instructions should have said that the these new weapons are the Evo Fusion. You combine them together and they form a longer blaster rifle, which is actually pretty cool, pretty neat. And yeah, I think that would be the legit Evo fusion for this figure. So yeah, a uh, little disappointed with, with this figure and the way it turned out. Not what I was expecting, honestly, but um, yeah, it's a good, decent effort. Now let's let's take a look and compare uh, both figures in their animal or beast mode. 
I'm not going to bore you with the transformation. If you want to see the transformation, it's exactly the same as Leo Prime. Go check out my video of Legacy Leo Prime. Uh, but for now, let's just get him into his beast mode. And here they both are in their beast mode. And yeah, like I mentioned earlier, it, it's, it's more apparent now. It feels like he's just in sleep mode instead of really a like a black panther that i was expecting something like that like he'd be like a jaguar or, or a, a black panther <laughs> you know uh, but it's not it's like a it's like a dead simba you know see okay uh they did change the eyes though if you look at the new one's eyes nemesis eyes there are pupils and an iris painted over it which is weird because he's supposed to be the He's the evil version of Leo Prime, and this looks more like the evil version. And this one has a more, it has a kinder face than this one. This one's just has like a ghost face. So that's weird. And yeah, he, he looks more friendly than this guy. So yeah, everything's still the same. Nothing's changed. Although he does look more like an animal better than this one. This one just has a ton of cybernetic parts just sticking out. Well, the, the colors on this one just do a good job at hiding a lot of the, the Cybertronian pieces and cybernetic parts. So, yeah. Some final thoughts on this Nemesis Leo Prime. I guess my disappointment says it all. It's a decent attempt. I mean, it's a solid figure if you look at it on its own. But the colors and the color scheme and the color of the plastic they chose for this figure is just too underwhelming and it, it's a it's just very disappointing i was expecting so much more you know uh, a darker more ominous looking nemesis leo prime but uh in the end it just feels like it's a it's a dead mode or a sleep mode nemesis leo prime um it's a shame it's a missed opportunity could have been a great figure and the the colors just the uh slight variation in colors they can do so much uh, to make or break a figure. So obviously this figure is not for me. I mean, if you like how it looks, if, if you're into all these Nemesis versions of the Primes, then sure, why not? It's a decent enough substitute for the masterpiece. You don't have to spend too much. You spend like a fraction, one third the price for this figure, but uh, it's not a great figure. It's not terrible but it's not great. And I was really expecting a lot more from this. So this figure gets a seven out of 10 for me. Still okay, but uh, nothing spectacular. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager class Nemesis Leo Prime. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.